All right, look at what Mr. Mailman brought me today. This is a Joy's Way Super Mono X uh, ARTR brushless power boat. Uh, ARTR just means you need a battery and a charger. Uh, and that's about it. And other than that, it's ready to go. This boat I picked because it has a uh, the self-writing feature, just like the 007 or FT007 that I've got. I can never remember the name of that thing. This has a self-writing feature, except it's better because it's brushless. More power. R R R. Eh, anybody that's more than 20 years old should get that reference. Home improvement. Look it up. So here it is, ARTR brushless power boat, self-writing. That's the only reason I bought this boat, self-writing. I won't buy anything that isn't. I don't like getting wet. So let's go through this, take a look at this. Remember, this is not a toy, 14 plus. All right, specs are, it's about 16 and a half inches long, four and a half inches, or 4.75 inches beam. I think that's wide, I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, just under a pound, ABS material, injection molding, blah, blah, blah. 2.4 gigahertz, two channel, digital proportional. Uh, water cooled 2950 KV, Outrunner brushless. Water cooled 20 amp, Brushless BEC with or ESC with BEC built in. Uh, don't need a separate BEC for the servo, which you sh really shouldn't need in a boat anyway. Uh, nine gram servo and aluminum rudder, stainless steel turn fins and trim tabs, uh, shaft drive system, nylon propeller that's plastic uh, and a plastic stand. Uh, what you need to complete this boat is a battery, a three cell, one and a one, uh, eleven point one volt, uh, thirteen hundred mod of twenty two hundred, whatever you can fit in there basically, and it shows the size there, one hundred five mil by thirty four mil by twenty five mil, and uh, you need a charger as well, obviously to charge that battery. So that's what it's telling us on there. Top speed is forty five hundred or forty five kilometers an hour or twenty eight mile an hour still to be determined. Uh, so it shows on here the radio, the servo, speed control and radio, uh, the hull, the rear with the uh, nylon propeller and the alloy rudder and stainless fins and trims and the brushless motor. Uh, there it just shows the boat kind of and then another boat in the water, boat in the table and yeah, pretty basic box. Doesn't even have a bottom on it. It's just styrofoam on the bottom. So let's rip into it. Maybe. All right, there we go. First thing, as always, instruction manual tells us that's a boat, that's a remote, that's a stand. What more do you need to know? Yeah, a bunch of useless stuff. Figure out most of it just by looking at it. So, first we'll look at the radio. I don't know how well this is in the frame. You can't really see it from where I am. But here's the radio. 2.4 gigahertz steering trim and throttle trim. Really basic stuff. Doesn't even have an indicator to tell you. It's got a little bit of a bump when you spin it to tell you when you're center, but it's actually really tough to tell. Oh well, I guess it doesn't really matter if it's center as long as it's right. Uh, power switch over here, on and off. Battery door's got a screw in it, so I can't open that for you, but I would assume that that's what this nine volt battery is for. It's for the battery door on the radio. Pretty basic stuff. 
short stubby antenna kind of annoying because you can't bend it down so hopefully it's not too bad should be easy to one hand drive though nice and tight to one hand drive here no padding on the wheel very basic but for what it is can't complain what else do we have a little baggy of stuff in here you've got a little piece of uh, the loop side of hook and loop that's for your battery some shrink tube and a T connector for your battery so it's compatible with what's in there a spare nylon propeller and a couple of uh, allen keys just to wrench on the thing I guess and here's the stand standard ABS stand a couple of screws there holding the the V thing on pretty basic on to what you really want to see the boat this thing is pretty solid uh, it seems like a decent build quality for uh, I mean being made in China and all right it's it seems like a solid plastic it's got as mentioned the stainless uh, trim tabs and uh, what do they call those I don't know turn fins turn fins and trim tabs so these turn fins it says in the instructions that they're supposed to be a 45 degree that's pretty much what they're at trim tabs down here um, the alloy rudder it's a stainless or uh, it's a like a an aluminum rudder seems pretty solid uh, there's no breakaway option on that on the rudder so don't hit stuff because you'll probably just break this plastic piece here and yeah that's uh, about it for the outside it's pretty basic it's a boat what more do you want right let's look inside here's the cab the uh, hatch I guess you'd call it and inside here we've got our 9 gram servo and our receiver is looks like it's in a waterproof case uh, Let's see if, I don't know if you can see in there, but there's like a boot over the the wires that come out there. Looks like it's in a waterproof case. It's just zip tied onto a little standoff there, so I don't know how well that'll work, if it'll dislodge or if it'll hang out there or what, but I guess it's, we'll find out eventually. And uh, there's the motor, that's the uh, there's a sticker on it, but I can't quite see it. 2950 kV brushless outrunner for the motor. And tucked up in here is the speed control. It's got uh, water cooling in it. You can't really see it. Maybe you can see it. The water cooling runs from the back up the side through the speed control and then into the motor and out the motor out the side here. So the, uh, the the pickup for it is like right here at the bottom. It's just this little tiny plastic nubbin. We'll see how that works. I'm sure it'll be okay. I mean, it obviously works because that's how they designed it. And then we've got our standard shaft, flex shaft. Joins up to the motor here and all the way up the back to the prop. It's got the uh, water seal for the hatch as well. Uh, it's actually a really nice hatch design. I like it because you've got a little tab here on the front that just sits in right above that water seal and then the back latches down. You just give it a little twist and it latches in there solid. Like It's it's not going to come off. I had that problem with the FT-007. The cab came off a couple times, the hatch, and that's not going to happen on this boat. And your antenna comes out there and yeah, that's that's the boat. Uh, self writing feature, I assume that just means it's got reverse and it's going to gyro over just like the FT-007. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I got to make a small edit here. I tried the boat out afterwards, after this video, and I found out it does not have reverse. No reverse. So I don't want to mislead you guys about the self writing. The self writing does still work, but it's not the same as the FT-007. There is no reverse. Since this thing's brushless and it's got an almost 3000 kV motor on 3 cell, it's so fast, 
it doesn't need the reverse to get the rocking motion to get it to self right. So to self right, all you gotta do is blip the throttle and it'll flip right over. Most situations, if the water's got a little bit of a ripple to it, it'll flip over with no throttle response at all. But if you need to, if you need to flip it, just give it a little blip of the throttle, it'll roll right over. So that's all you need to know. Um, there's no reverse, but the self writing feature does work. And I'll show that in a future video where uh, I get this thing out on the water. I don't know when that'll be, like I said, it's fall here, but we'll see how that goes. Sure sounds mean anyway. But it's brushless, almost 3000 kV motor, and uh, on three cell, that's that's gonna be smoking hot. It's gonna be way faster than the FT007. Has the same self-writing feature, which is the biggest selling point for that boat, in my opinion. Even the price. Like, yes, this was considerably more expensive than the FT007. I think it paid like 60 bucks for that. This was just over 200 bucks on eBay. Uh, but, I mean, for the power, for the brushless, like this, this to me, this this is sold to me. Like, I I've been looking at this since the middle of summer and just waiting to pull the trigger on the the price. Uh, it is the price is a little bit high, but for what you get, I mean, really, this thing is solid. Like I, when I ordered the jet boats, I got like they were falling apart. The parts inside were just not even secured. They were just total junk, and that kind of gave me a precedent from China stuff and this has just way impressed me and this that's what this is this is from China as well and this thing has just blown that jet boat out of the water uh, I'm almost tempted to uh, pick one of these up just to to gut it throw this electronics in the jet boat but I mean that kind of be a waste of money you could probably pick up the electronics a lot cheaper than that just throw in that jet boat this thing, it just, it feels solid. You can't squish it. It's all aluminum and stainless on the rear. The only thing that's plastic is the rudder and in the FT007, I never wrecked a rudder and it's, or uh, sorry, uh, a prop and it's plastic as well. So really, I don't I don't see this being much different as far as durability going. Um, it, it just seems like a really solid boat. I can't wait to get it out. Unfortunately, it's fall here, uh, pretty much winter. It's already been snowing. So I don't know if I'm gonna get an opportunity to get it out this season or if I'm gonna have to wait till spring, but I just can't wait to do it. I'm gonna have to go crash a hotel or something and then go, go to their pool early in the morning when nobody's there. Just rip around with the boat until I get kicked out. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But yeah, that's the... Uh, Joy's Way Super Mono X. I, I, based on initial impressions, unboxing, build quality, I cannot complain. We'll see how it performs. I can't imagine it's going to disappoint, but you never know. I've been, I've been surprised before. So, hope you found this informative. Found a maybe a decent boat out of it self writing feature, brushless, reversing, can't complain right? Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching.